Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to make the Cryonis rune from Breath of the Wild, like this. So first thing we are going to make is the water plane. So for that, right click and blueprint class, then actor. I will call this water plane underscore two underscore BP. Then I will open it up. Then add a cube. Then I will uh, Reduce the C scale to 0.1 or maybe 0 0.01 so we get a plane. Now drag that into the world. So let's add the water material. So we are going to add the default water material we get from this starter content. So go to material, then water. then drag and drop that in we can scale it a bit so for x give 5 and for y give 5 so we get our new water plane now let's create our ice block So, actor. Now right click, blueprint class, actor. I will name this ice block. Underscore two. Then open it up. And add a cube. Now compile. Now we have to go to the first person character. So first person blueprint, blueprint, then first person character. Now this is my old node. I will just disconnect that and right click and type in left mouse button. So we are going to see whether we are looking at water or not by doing a line trace by channel. So drag off from pressed and type in line trace by channel. Then for the start location just drag and drop the sphere in and get world location. And then connect this to the start. Now for the end, I am actually going to add an arrow because I I like to change the length visually. So drag and drop that into the sphere. Then uh, change the distance like this. So this is how far away uh, we can spawn the ice blocks. So now drag and drop the arrow. Then select this and Control W. So get so we can duplicate this and connect this to here and connect this to the end location. So basically this will project a line from uh, the location of the sphere to the location of the arrow. And if the water plane gets hit, uh, we can spawn the ice blocks there. So now press and hold B and click so we get this branch then connect this here and connect this to condition so we are only going to do the next step if we hit something then uh, also split the out hit so we get the out hit Im information now from here type in cast to water block water plane 2 then connect this to hit actor 
so this will allow us to know whether we hit the water plane or not so if I just drag from here and type in print so this is our water plane so we can see that it's hitting so now it's not hitting the water plane but now it is hitting so so that's how we know that we are hitting the water plane so now we need to spawn the ice blocks if we are hitting the water plane so drag from here and type in spawn actor from class and the class is ice block 2 so ice block 2 then split the transform and connect the impact point to spawn transform location and now let's see so it is getting spawned but um, only half of it is getting spawned that's because uh, the other portion is the other half is below the plane so in order to fix that go to the ice block then change this to left then drag and then drag this to the green line like this then I will increase the height a bit like this and I will again drag this to the green line so now let's see so now it is spawning the ice block I think it is a little bit too high I think it's very tall so let's Degrees that a bit. So now it is spawning. So now let's make this grow. So for that, go to the event graph of the ice block. Then we are going to drag from here. Actually, we are going to drag and drop the default scene root. Then drag from here and type in set scale then we, we will set the world scale to 1 and 1 and for C we give a value of 0 so we are going to uh, change the value of C through a timeline so now drag and type in timeline then I will name this grow then open it up then change this to 1 and add a flow track then shift and click here and change this to 0 and the value should be 0 also then uh, shift click here and change the value to 1 and change this value to 1 and click this and this so we get to view this properly now go back and drag and drop this cube in again and set world scale 3d then connect this to the update then split this then drag and type in get world scale then break this and connect x to x and y to y then connect this new track to the C now let's see so uh, we are going to use the default scene root here not the cube so now you can see that it is spawning So the reason we are not uh, scaling the cube is because of the pivot point of the cube. So the pivot point of the cube is here. So if we are scaling the cube then there is an issue. So if I scale the cube it will uh, grow from the center in both direction.
so to fix that uh, we are uh, changing the scale of the default scene root so for the default scene root uh, the pivot point is kind of here and if we are on the green line we will grow from here to here uh, if we increase the c scale so just reconnect that to the default scene root So now we have a ice that is growing. So you can change the speed of the growth by decreasing this value. So if I change this to 0.5 and change this to 0.5, then it will grow much faster. Change this to 1 and change the time to 0.5 so it will grow much faster now so what if we want to create the cube vertically so like in breath of the world you can uh, spawn the uh, ice block on a vertical wall so if i just duplicate this and rotate it in the x 90 degree so you can see a problem uh, it is not rotating with our I mean our cube is not rotating to align to the surface so to fix that go back to the first person character then drag from out it normal then type in a rotation then we need to make a rotation from the c axis so make road from c then connect this to spawn transform and combine so now it will perfectly grow from the surface like this So what if we want to destroy the cube when we press the left mouse button again. So for that go here and drag from true and type in seconds. So from seconds we can get multiple events. Then drag from here and cast to ice block. Ice block 2 and connect our out heat actor to this and this is so this will basically tell us if we are hitting the ice block when we uh, press the left mouse button so if we are hitting the ice block then drag from here and type in destroy actor now if we create one and press the left mouse button again it will get it will get destroyed so Now let's create the ice material very quick and easy. So right click and material. I will name this ice and open it up. And we need some texture. So first one is this rock key texture, normal map. Then this smoke texture. Then this water texture, connect the normal to the normal, then change the shading model to subsurface, now press and hold on 3 and click so we get this 3 color vector, change this to a bluish color and connect this here actually change this to a white color so we are going to give the blue color using the subsur subsurface color so this is a very basic and simple ice material and i will change the metallic 
do this and I will 1 minus this so we get a inverse of that and connect this to roughness now we will add our surface color now connect this to the opacity then we will add the subsurface color so for that press and hold a line click so we get this layer and connect the red to alpha then connect this to the surface surface then press and hold 3 and click twice so we get this two colors so change this color to a bluish color So this is not a really good type material, this is something very quick and simple. So get a tanner and change the speed to 1. So we get this kind of effect. Then we will add this to our ice block. So just drag and drop that in now let's see what this looks like um, this is a really bad ice material but I just made this for the tutorial you can disable the panel if you want So that's it, thanks for watching everyone and subscribe for more videos like this, thanks.